Hello everyone and welcome to Friday. You might be wondering where I am. I am currently in Alex and Haley's new place. They're not here yet, they're still driving. But Mal and I came over here uh, in order to bring some things over for them. Um, they had ordered a, a new mattress and they had it mailed to our place. So we are bringing it over here today so we can open it up and let it off gas and, and hopefully maybe be ready by the time they're, they're ready for bed tonight. But we also brought over our air mattress in case it's not ready and they can at least sleep on that. Uh, we also brought over a table and some chairs so they have somewhere to sit because they don't have their uh, furniture. Actually, their, their stuff is arriving courtesy of movers later. So for a little bit, they're just kind of here without <laughs> stuff. Um, yeah, so we got here a little bit ago and mm, you'll see, uh, we got slightly delayed on doing things in here because, um, I, I dropped off Mao at the, uh, at the front door and then I went and was going to park. And as I was parking, Mao sent me Mal called me and was like, she was crying and she was like, I fell. And I was like, what do you mean you fell? She said, I fell and I hit my head. So I parked the car and I ran over and now what, an hour and a half later, this is where we're at? I'm okay. You doing okay? I'm scraped up and a little shaken up, but I'm okay. Mal um, tripped going up the front stairs because she was busy and, and trying to do all of this stuff. And um, she tripped going up the stairs and she hit her, well, this side, she hit her eyebrow. Yeah. Um, Glad I didn't have glasses on, it would have totally destroyed them. Yeah, it would have broken your glasses immediately. So there was a lot of blood. Um, As head wounds tend to have. But that's the thing, the, the skin is really thin there. So I immediately uh, ran to um, grocery store nearby. Uh, a grocery store and I picked up, and like there's nothing here in this house, right? So I had to go get everything. So I got hydrogen peroxide and paper towels and um, a bottle of water and band-aids and a Ziploc bag so I would be able to ice it. Cause it was very shortly after it was really swollen. And I was like, oh no. But um, I, I got Mal all cleaned up, and from what I can tell, she's not going to need any stitches. I didn't slam into the ground. I was like, kind of caught yourself. I was like, oh, and I hit my foot, and I was like, oh, I'll be okay. My hands will catch me, and my knees hit, and then my hands hit, and then my face just kept going. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, um, not the best start for today, but I'm no, glad. I'm okay. I'm glad that you're all right, but. Like I said, I brought some tables and chairs. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bother like giving a tour. I think it'll be more appropriate when Alex and Haley are here and can actually like show off their place and there's like stuff here. But this is the first time we've been in here and yeah, it's, it's, it it's nice. Um, and to give a little context, when Alex and Haley were here together at the beginning of August, they were looking for places and um, it was on the very last day when they were actually getting ready. They had, they were getting ready to leave our place and Mal found this place and they contacted the landlord and they were able to arrange a tour immediately and then they got it. So they literally said goodbye to us and then got a, got, got a tour of this place and, and took it. So yeah, it's, it's cool, man. This is yeah, a, it's, it's really nice. It's a, it's a nice place. The landlord seems really great. She, she like had the carpets clean, she had it painted. They added ceiling fans cause there weren't any before. And like, there's some of the carpets brand new even. Yeah. So they did a lot to make it nice for them. So yeah, anyway, what a day, what a day. There's still, um, like I said, there's still more stuff to do today. Uh, like we have the Pokemon finale later tonight. Um, we are both very sweaty. Mao is sweaty from 
getting worked up about falling and I am sweaty from getting worked up about mal falling. So we need to get home and get a shower. But we also have to go to Walmart or something and get um, light bulbs because there's currently no light bulbs in the guest room. So you got a few things to do before the finale tonight, but you're okay. You're feeling, you're feeling all right. Yeah. Okay. We, we had a, we had a lot that we were trying to do because we got a little behind when, when Mal fell because, you know, she needed help and needed to rest and stuff for a while. So we got a little bit behind. So by the time we got home and got that stuff installed uh, and did a few other things, it was basically time for stream. So we, we started the stream and then while we were doing that, Alex and Haley actually arrived. So they did make it uh, safely to Raleigh, which is good. Um, we did our stream and went through the entire stream. Uh, the stream was very successful. Actually, folks completed the viewer decks. It was just, it's a very interesting series because it's very much a Twitch series. I mean, we've edited it as, as I think, best as we could to uh, make a very, like, succinct version for YouTube. And, of course, you can watch the entire VODs on Steven VOD. But, like, it's it's very much a Twitch thing, and the finale really felt like that. Like, it's a very interactive project. Anyway, near the end of this uh, of the the stream tonight, uh, we had revealed that Alex and Haley, you know, were living here and they had gotten here safely. But then also there was another person um, who could potentially, maybe, possibly, be looking at uh, maybe uh, living in the area too, and they could be inside your house and you wouldn't even know it. And that person's Brandon. Some, sometimes Brandon's in your house and you don't even know it. Like you just open a closet and you're like, oh my God, Brandon. You're checking under your sofa for whatever you put under your sofa and you're like, oh, Brandon. So Brandon is here. Brandon's going to be staying with us uh, for a little bit. I don't even know how long. A couple, couple days. Um, and that's, that's fun. And that is because, and I already know this because I, I read some comments that were like, you know that you can't have anyone visit at this point and not... And like, we won't suspect that they're gonna live there. So I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna give anyone BS. I'm not gonna even say it. I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say out loud, like Brandon is considering living here and is looking for places in the area. So now the joke's on them. Cause I'm not even trying to trick anybody. Anyway, we got a pizza. We went to Papa Murphy's because uh, Mao, it's a big, it's, I don't know if it's a Wisconsin chain, but it's big in Wisconsin. They like it. And um, I had it only one time when Mao and I were dating. When we, we, when we went in there earlier to get a pizza, they had the, the big marquee board up there. And one of them was a pizza that was like in a pizza. I don't remember what it was called. But it's like, it's stuffed crust, but the whole thing is stuffed. Like there's pizza under the pizza. It's like two pizzas. So we just you finished know, making it. Mod pizza does that too, right? Mod pizza does that? No, they, they don't. They do. Yeah, I am 100% sure they do. Why have we never ordered it? Why have you never ordered They have, Mal, they have a salad. That's, that's not, not what she just said. I know, that's why I don't believe her because they have a salad and normal pizza. Are you sure? I am sure. They do a stuffed pizza just like this. Okay. I've never ordered it because it's too much pizza. Oh, I need a fork probably because that's like a, that, look, that looks like a, one of them Chicago pizzas. Is I think it? It looks like the Colorado pizza. Oh, it does, yeah. We actually mentioned that when we first um, were, were baking it because the, uh, the big Colorado pie that um, Zim had sent, it had, it was, it looked like that. Like the that. crust was rolled and it was really tall and everything. Is it good? Do you mm -hmm. like it? Okay, yeah. let me try a bite. That's really good. It is extremely thick. One slice of pizza is like eating two slices of pizza. Yeah, that's why I only took one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fine, I don't regret having two. It's totally fine. Okay, so. Today's vlog, probably a bit of a surprise. Expecting Alex and Haley. They're not even in today's vlog. No. Instead, you get Brandon. And also Mal uh, falling down, which was also very unexpected. Like I said on not stream, a... I had a fight with a sidewalk and I did not win. It does look pretty good right now. Like, it, it like... Good. I'm paranoid I'm still bleeding because I was worried about that. No. Not a concerning amount. <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh. 
Yeah, it's it's fine. It's it's gonna be fine. Um, tomorrow, someone else arrives, and I know that the first thing people, oh my god, all these people, someone is coming to visit. Someone is coming to visit tomorrow. Because they don't live that far. Because they don't live that far away, which probably narrows it yeah. down. <laughs> probably narrows it, but that's fine. You can still speculate. It's Dan. Uh, Dan will. Um, Dan is coming to visit because uh, Alex and Haley live here now, and Brandon is also here. So why wouldn't Dan want to come to see everybody? So that'll be tomorrow. And that's it. That's like all the. Is that all the news? I think it's all the news. Mm-hmm. And we just sit here and eat pizza. Yep. And I... I crawl back under the sofa. You crawl back under the sofa. Yeah. And then that's it. That's mm-hmm. the entire day. Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow. Shall we?